There was a recession in the U.S. coming from a bubble, which was, which was the tech uh, bubble. Um, Asia uh, fell by around 55% from the peaks just before the bubble. Right now we are down by less than 20%. Mm. I, I'm not saying that we'll repeat the experience from uh, 2001 through three because valuations there were much higher, but still I think there is at least 10% more to go on average for Asian in indices. At least 10%. Probably more. Okay, this segment is called Opportunity Calls, so I have to ask you, I mean, I know it's difficult in this environment to actually make money. I mean, at this stage, a lot of people are just concentrating on keeping their money, protecting their money, but where are the opportunities? There must be some out there. Uh, I think that in relative terms, there are two markets in Asia that I think should uh, outperform, you know, for the, for the remaining part of the quarter of, of the, or the, the first half of the year. Uh, and these would be the markets that are either relatively closed, um, such as China, or relatively uh, less dependent on, on their growth for the, uh, on the U.S. economy, such as India, for instance. And incidentally, both of these markets are uh, one of the worst performers so far this year, partially for internal reasons, such as the, you know, the weather calamity in China mm -hmm. and the overhang of new supply. So it might be a good entry point in, in both of these uh, economies uh, right now. There we go. Relative to the other Asian markets. Relative to the other Asian markets. It's always relative, isn't it? Thank you so much for joining us today. Derek Kowalczyk, Chief Investment Strategist at CFC Seymour.